Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ as you watch this video and listen to his words, in Jesus' name we pray Amen. Before we begin please click the subscribe button below. Genesis chapter 27 Verse 1 When Isaac was old and his eyes were so weak that he could no longer see, he called for Esau his older son and said to him, My son, here I am, he answered. Verse 2 Isaac said, I am now an old man and don't know the day of my death. Verse 3 Now then, get your equipment, your quiver and bow, and go out to the open country to hunt some wild game for me. Verse 4 Prepare me the kind of tasty food I like and bring it to me to eat, so that I may give you my blessing before I die. Verse 5 Now Rebekah was listening as Isaac spoke to his son Esau. When Esau left for the open country to hunt game and bring it back, Verse 6 Rebekah said to her son Jacob, Look, I overheard your father say to your brother Esau. Verse 7 Bring me some game and prepare me some tasty food to eat, so that I may give you my blessing in the presence of the Lord before I die. Verse 8 Now, my son, listen carefully and do what I tell you. Verse 9 Go out to the flock and bring me two choice young goats, so I can prepare some tasty food for your father, just the way he likes it. Verse 10 Then take it to your father to eat, so that he may give you his blessing before he dies. Verse 11 Jacob said to Rebekah his mother, But my brother Esau is a hairy man while I have smooth skin. Verse 12 What if my father touches me? I would appear to be tricking him and would bring down a curse on myself rather than a blessing. Verse 13 His mother said to him, My son, let the curse fall on me. Just do what I say, go and get them for me. Verse 14 So he went and got them, and brought them to his mother, and she prepared some tasty food, just the way his father liked it. Verse 15 Then Rebekah took the best clothes of Esau, her older son, which she had in the house, and put them on her younger son Jacob. Verse 16 She also covered his hands and the smooth part of his neck with the goat skins. Verse 17 Then she handed to her son Jacob the tasty food and the bread she had made. Verse 18 He went to his father and said, My father. Yes, my son, he answered. Who is it? Verse 19 Jacob said to his father, I am Esau your firstborn. I have done as you told me. Please sit up and eat some of my game, so that you may give me your blessing. Verse 20 Isaac asked his son, How did you find it so quickly, my son? The Lord your God gave me success, he replied. Verse 21 Then Isaac said to Jacob, Come near so I can touch you, my son, to know whether you really are my son Esau or not. Verse 22 Jacob went close to his father Isaac, who touched him and said, The voice is the voice of Jacob, but the hands are the hands of Esau. Verse 23 He did not recognize him, for his hands were hairy like those of his brother Esau, so he proceeded to bless him. Verse 24, Are you really my son Esau? He asked. I am, he replied. Verse 25, Then he said, My son, bring me some of your game to eat, so that I may give you my blessing. Jacob brought it to him, and he ate, and he brought some wine, and he drank. Verse 26, Then his father Isaac said to him, Come here, my son, and kiss me. Verse 27 So he went to him and kissed him. When Isaac caught the smell of his clothes, he blessed him and said, Ah, the smell of my son is like the smell of a field that the Lord has blessed. Verse the 28th of May God give you heaven's dew and earth's richness and abundance of grain and new wine. Verse the 29th of May Nations serve you and peoples bow down to you, be Lord over your brothers, and may the sons of your mother bow down to you, may those who curse you be cursed and those who bless you be blessed. 
Verse 30 After Isaac finished blessing him, and Jacob had scarcely left his father's presence, his brother Esau came in from hunting. Verse 31 He too prepared some tasty food and brought it to his father. Then he said to him, My father, please sit up and eat some of my game, so that you may give me your blessing. Verse 32 His father Isaac asked him, Who are you? I am your son, he answered, your firstborn, Esau. Verse 33 Isaac trembled violently and said, Who was it, then, that hunted game and brought it to me? I ate it just before you came and I blessed him, and indeed he will be blessed. Verse 34 When Esau heard his father's words, he burst out with a loud and bitter cry, and said to his father, Bless me, me too, my father. Verse 35 But he said, Your brother came deceitfully and took your blessing. Verse 36 Esau said, Isn't he rightly named Jacob? This is the second time he has taken advantage of me, he took my birthright, and now he's taken my blessing. Then he asked, Haven't you reserved any blessing for me? Verse 37 Isaac answered Esau, I have made him lord over you and have made all his relatives his servants, and I have sustained him with grain and new wine. So what can I possibly do for you, my son? Verse 38 Esau said to his father, Do you have only one blessing, my father? Bless me too, my father. Then Esau wept aloud. Verse 39 His father Isaac answered him, Your dwelling will be away from the earth's richness, away from the dew of heaven above. Verse 40 You will live by the sword and you will serve your brother. But when you grow restless, you will throw his yoke from off your neck. Verse 41 Esau held a grudge against Jacob because of the blessing his father had given him. He said to himself, The days of mourning for my father are near, then I will kill my brother Jacob. Verse 42 When Rebekah was told what her older son Esau had said, she sent for her younger son Jacob and said to him, Your brother Esau is planning to avenge himself by killing you. Verse 43 Now then, my son, do what I say, flee at once to my brother Laban in Haran. Verse 44 Stay with him for a while until your brother's fury subsides. Verse 45 When your brother is no longer angry with you and forgets what you did to him, I'll send word for you to come back from there. Why should I lose both of you in one day? Verse 46 Then Rebekah said to Isaac, I'm disgusted with living because of these Hittite women. If Jacob takes a wife from among the women of this land, from Hittite women like these, my life will not be worth living. Please wait if you have not subscribed to this channel, please click the red subscribe button below. Thank you see you again in chapter 28, God bless you.